Child, now I'm running from the repo, man. I know I'm laughing, but this shit ain't funny. Because if they find me, they're going to take this car. And I'm going to be carless. And I just, Lord, what's going on? God, God. I just cannot believe this is my life right now. And it is what it is. Like, I really just have been having a tough time financially for the past like, year and a half. I just been getting hit back to back to back and you know just been through so much like i've been depressed and so if you know anything about depression it's just hard to do anything to make anything happen you know like it's hard to really like keep up with life and so yeah it's just been what it is but um I just, I trust that God has a plan, but honestly, like, I be so discouraged, and I just hate living like this, like, I'm literally coming home, and I know I did, like, a little funny skit, but, like, seriously, it's just such a nerve-wracking feeling, like, we could be out, you know, at the grocery store, and just whatever, I'm coming home, rushing home, hurrying up, closing the garage. Kids, y'all cannot open the garage. Y'all have to play in the back. Like, I just, I just really want to be transparent about this, this, my life right now, because so many people be going through it. And, you know, you see people on social media and you think everything is like, woo, woo, woo. But like, you know, we all people and we all can get hit. We all can just go through it you know it's life and so anything can happen and so i just this part of my life where you know this is happening and as embarrassing and disappointing and frustrating and heartbreaking it is for me to be here and i just mean like not just you know with this repo but just with my life right now it's like I just know and believe that God has a plan for me, you know? And I, I just want to, I want to see that through. And I want to believe that. And, you know, I want to talk about it. I want to talk about too, though. Like, sometimes I don't believe. Sometimes I'm just like, like this, what I've been going through financially the past year and a half, like, has really like shaking me up and just like really especially as a mother like you have little people depending on you and so I just feel like a failure and like I just feel like I'm letting them down but I know something got to be coming after this. I know I'm not going through all of this for no reason. And so that's what I've been trying to hold on to and just believe to keep going and to get up from this hole that I feel like I'm in. And I blame myself because I'm the one, I got myself into this hole, you know, but I'm determined to get myself out of this hole. And I know that God is with me. I know that God is helping me. Because I don't know how I've been making it. I don't know. Listen, it's a blessing to just be pulling up to a garage, you know? And so, it's... I just know that God, God is something more. It's something more. But this is just what I'm facing right now. I know people don't come on the internet talking about this type of stuff. Like, girl, what? You facing a repo? Your homes and foreclosure? What? You know, like, you're broke. Like, people don't say this. People don't do this online. But... Like I said, this is life. This is real life. Listen, I've been blessed to have a lot. And I've been blessed to have a little. Because honestly, in these seasons of like drought, God really shows me like something more, you know? And so I'm trying to hold on to that. I'm trying to hold on to that during this, this, this trying time of my life. It's really tough. Um, but 
I just know something, 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 something good is gonna come. Something good is gonna come. So, yeah. Look at this cyber Whoa. truck. Whoa. It's so <laughs> That does look cool. You see that? Yay. That's ugly, bro. That's ugly. I want that. I need that. That is so I need that. You need that, Isaac. Look at yeah. these testies, okay? It's not testies. We done made it to test, <coughs> test, 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 Tesla. Is it Tesla? Or and we late, hard? so let's go. <laughs> This is sharp. Oh my God. This is nice. Good. Look at her. <laughs> Look at Isaac. Come on, I gotta take my pictures. Hold up. Smell, smell good in here. You like it, Isaac? We don't. Ooh, can y'all picture y'all rolling in this? Let me. Look at the sunroof. <laughs> this is nice. What's this? Look at this freaking! Car. Oh my gosh! Can I mean, see us in this car? Come on! <laughs> what I'm talking about. Let me just lease one of these. I ain't gotta even own it. You know what I'm saying? Do this. I just wanna drive around it. Can y'all see us in one of these? What you? Al, what you say? They see me rolling. <laughs> they see me rolling. They hating. TT's family might be in a testie, might be in a testie. <laughs> <coughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Isaac, get feet. your feet off the seat. Wait, no, not this. It's connected. Okay, we got T hey, J on the it. screen in the testie. <coughs> Leave it on there so people can subscribe to me. Actually, go to TT's family so they can subscribe to the family channel. No. Girl, you can't spill. What the heck? There we go. Keep it right here. Yeah. Ah! Y'all go subscribe to the family. Oh, now this one. This is sharp. Oh, and it got the uh, captain seat. Ooh. Captain seat. Nice. Go ahead and sit down. I'm the captain. I love the doors. Captain. This is tight. Ooh, can y'all see me on this? Let me see, can I see that? It's blowing air from right here when it's like. Oh, wow. What the heck? How is it blowing air? I'm gonna turn on my dad's song. This is blowing air. Go ahead, put them on. Okay. I gotta go to Apple Music. Oh, he on Apple Music? Yes. Okay, period. Wait, they don't got it. No cap. I gotta find it. <coughs> Shout out West Side Hands. Shout out to Lexi Daddy. Where he at? Actually, you can kind of hear it. I'm gonna turn oh, it up right here. Ha! Look at Itha. Ha! Look at just like him. Okay, shout out to West Side Hands. Flint Town. A10. This is so nice. <laughs> Yo, this car is so cute. Yeah. Video game. Yeah, you can play video games. Yes. This is so cool. I love this car. I'm just trying to get comfortable yeah. with it because it is different. Like the gear shifts oh, are insane. The gear shift is all touch screen. So I'm just trying to like I don't even oh. damn. Oh wait, he said press this. Oh, come on, it don't work. Wait. You have to get the press break. Okay, oh. yeah, press it. Huh? You have to get the car. Oh, okay. Y'all windows down, air on. He show me the air, Lord. I need some more tutorials. <laughs> this is fancy. So this is to go, and this is to reverse, and this is to park. Wow. And it's neutral. When you go through the car wash, you gotta put it in neutral. But it's the sunroofs for me. Do they open though? I should have asked him, asked him more questions before he left. <laughs> Cause I want to know all about it. And listen, we got the Tessie for 15, 20 minutes. Okay. I'm not gonna be able to learn everything in these 15, 20 minutes, but we just gonna go ahead. We're gonna take a little drive. Y'all ready? Yeah. Here, actually, give me some directions. We're gonna go get some food. <laughs> this is so fancy. I want this. I want this. Listen, when we was leaving the house, how'd I do that? Turn it down. When we was leaving the house, um, 
because I've been talking to the kids, you know, about everything going on. Some of them was going to test drive a Tesla today. Dara, like, we getting a Tesla? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. We just going to drive one. She was like, no, we're getting a Tesla. I said, okay, baby girl. You better, let me see, girl. You better speak that. We getting us a Tesla, okay? You, you, got, you don't need your phone. We got a GPS. Oh, we got GPS right there. Amen. Hallelujah. I really like this car. I have never been, like, crazy about a car. But, we don't get a, oh, I think he's going to stop me. Oh, no. Go to our okay. car. Go to our car. A real car? Okay. Oh, it's so smooth. It's so smooth. I have never been car crazy. Like, I don't, honestly, never even knew what type of car I wanted. I'm just like, any car that drives is cool with me. I don't care. Oh, Lord, this is. Oh, they got all the safety features, honey. You can't crash in this car. The testing is beeping, okay. But yeah, I never really had like a car preference until now. Like, I, yeah, I want this car, actually. All right, y'all, let's take our test. Let's take our testy drive. This is so fun. I want to see how fast we can go. We should, we should race. No, I ain't racing nobody. Here, let me, let me. Look at the GPS on here. It is so freaking cool. This is crazy. I'm driving a Tesla. As long as I, man. Stay on my back. Don't this is so cool. I can't believe I'm driving this up right now. Why the windows down? Let me up. Because the air on. Uh, I don't feel nothing. Turn off. Where the blinker light? Oh, he didn't tell me. Oh, here it go. Chad, the blinker lights is all weird. Like, this is such a weird drive. It is different because every okay, time you take you your move. foot off the gas, <laughs> it breaks. Okay. Because of the Let's read. Some power. Oh, shoot. Oh, boy. Stop. Because yeah. of the technology. How you got? This looks so clear. Man, look at that. Show it. That's insane. Oh, because those car stops. Don't be getting close to me in my Tesla. Look at that. And that's a camera. Like, what the heck? I'm done recording. Oh, I can get stop on our door. And look, you can put this in your wallet. This is the freaking key. Like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Think. All right, we about to see. Here, turn this down. All right, we about to see how fast this thing can go. Y'all ready? Okay. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh. It goes so fast. Drift. So quick. I'm not gonna drift, girl. <laughs> you crazy? <laughs> Look at this. Oh! Oh my god! And it did it so fast. I'm I'm barely even pressing the gas. Wait, Mama, guess what? When yeah. it's my birthday, we come back and get this. And guess what? Let's go this way, y'all. If we go to Michigan, we can't go fast. <laughs> yeah, we can't go fast. You ready? Be right. Let's Hi, go. <laughs> Cause it's drifting. This is like so smooth. This is the smoothest ride I have ever experienced. Check the car, y'all, Instagram. Our car. Say it with me. This is our car. This is our car. This is not our car. This is not our car. What you know, this is our car. This is our car. This is our car. This is our car. Period. This is not our car. We're gonna pray about it, Lord. Let your will be done. This because we always got a car. Well, we gotta get a new car, baby. Favorite car, right? Yeah, remember how we've been talking about we gotta get a new one. We got to move on to the next thing. I don't know how I'll put my camera in here. Probably had to put it in touch it's like this. This is right on. I ain't leaving it up here. This is our car. That's right, Al. And you know what? I'm, um, I'm claiming it. I'm speaking it. I'm praying, Lord. Let your will be done. 
Retro will be done, but I love this card. Like, love. Trash. And this could be our trash right here. Girl, bye. You ain't gonna have no trash in my car. Get that. Day two, not day two. This is probably like day, I feel like day 365. <laughs> but okay, we are at another dealership. Well, just me today, I'm at another dealership. Um, Honestly, y'all, I was in bed today, so discouraged. Like, I just was like, it just don't seem like I'm gonna get nothing. I just, my situation is just, it's bad you know like i don't my credit is terrible like it's just these dealerships they keep playing games with me but and you know i just really let it discourage me i had a dream <laughs> i'm gonna tell y'all this real quick because i need to get in here but i had this dream last night that i had a, it was like a new car in my driveway it was red or blue I just remember this bright color car and this car was in my garage and I'm walking to the mailbox it was nighttime for some reason and this man came up to me like hey you Tierra he was the repo man I was like yeah and he like you know about the I'm looking for your car and da 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 I was like I was lying I was like you know I actually don't have the car no more and da da da, -da. and he turned around he was like you talking about this car and I was like not my garage is open and so I was just telling him like, please work with me. Like, I'm just trying to catch a break, da da da. He was like trying to act like sympathetic. And then he started, you know, we walking towards my house and he like, hey, Roscoe, Roscoe, or whoever name he said, I feel like it was Roscoe. Roscoe, Roscoe, come on. They bag up the, the, uh, the tow truck, connect my car and took off. And the whole time I'm just screaming like, no, no, no. And I, in my dream, I felt like it was too late in my dream i felt this dreading dreading feeling of just like dang i was too late like dang i should have did something dang like and so as i'm laying in the bed feeling defeated because you know i'm on on online i'm talking to different dealerships and everything and it's just the same thing over and over again it's just like denial after denial you know we went to the tesla dealership yesterday it was a denial and it was just like I, like what can I do you know like I'm talking all this stuff like I want to encourage my kids to overcome and I want to you know show myself that like I can overcome these things and I can but it's like how am I supposed to do that if I literally just can't <sighs> but it's like God told me like get up like get up get up get up go to this dealership call them back and so I did and I'm here and I don't know what to expect. Um, I'm, I'm expecting with, with whatever God is, is telling me, you know, um, and I'm just expecting for things to work out, whether it be today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. I'm just, you know, it's like, Lord, let your will be done. I, um, let your will be done. I'ma just I gotta it's just my job to get up and try. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying. I'm trying my my, my, my hand at this thing again. It is five o'clock, so I need to go ahead and get in here. But yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's see what happens. Um and I am just I have prayed for God's favor and grace and confidence to rest over me and my mind and my soul and for God to connect me with the people and the numbers and the business um, that is that is divinely connected with the situation that God has already wrote the story. God already knows the outcome. I'm just here trying to see what the outcome is gonna be. So. I think I, I gotta take a minute. 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 I can't even drive off without really expressing my gratitude. Just giving God the glory, the honor, and the praise. When I say, I can't even tell it all. I can't, I just can't. But God did that. God just showed up. God showed up. God was already there. You know what I'm saying? God already made the deal before I made the deal. Before anybody did anything. It was all God. And I am just so 
thankful like i i was laying in bed like forget it just come and take this car just whatever like i'm just i don't even care no more i don't even want to try no more but god told me to get up and keep trying and try one more time and i was like at this point honestly i you it don't even gotta be my dream car it don't gotta be no I, I felt like i didn't even deserve nothing like i'm already facing a repo like i'ma just take anything the cheapest car you got like i don't even care but god literally put me in my dream car and i never had a dream car i honestly i'm not like a car person i really don't care too much like as long as it run like i'm good but when i test drove that tesla yesterday i just knew like i really love this car like this is something i want for myself this is something i want for my kids like and literally a few days later god puts me into a freaking tesla i with the worst credit i've ever had with just about no money like god did that i gotta get out of here because i got a birthday party to throw today but i'm gonna just say it took me losing everything i mean lost every dime lost every, even my just connection to material things i had to lose it i had to really find the true value in life and in myself and just really find god y'all and like once i finally let all of that stuff go like god is just i know i've been going through a tough financial situation but i just believe and feel like I, god has already just confirmed some things in me like now you ready now it's go time like now like and don't worry about nothing even though it's so worrisome to not know you know where your next meal coming from listen well, I, I we can go we can we can go there god let me allow me to go low god allowed me to be emptied out god allowed me to experience the worst of the worst in my life where just hope hopelessness like god allowed me to experience all these things so i could really understand y'all the value is not in this stuff i love this i'm so thankful like what this is so nice but like the value is not in this stuff like it's all here it's the mindset it's god it's just like y'all it's so much bigger than this it's so much bigger than this so i just wanted to share this i want to share this i want to encourage somebody it may not happen as fast as you think it may not happen in the way that you think but like let it all go let it all go give it to god and like he supplies every need god did this god did this there was no way there was no way i should be in this car right now the finance people told me we don't even understand how this we did not think this was gonna happen we didn't think we could make this work we didn't like it's uncommon and i just kept praying for uncommon favor uncommon favor lord you see my situation you know my situation but have your way if you telling me to go ahead and let them take the car and i just gotta keep hustling and pressing on how i've been like lord let your will be done but god saw fit but i told god i said lord i got desires though i do have these desires in my heart but i even give them to you i want this type of car but i give it to you lord whatever you see fit whatever yo where the timing everything have your way lord and the lord had his way i'm just <laughs> I'm in tune with whatever God wants to do and I'm just I want to that's the message that's the message it's not this stuff like I still stand on like things are not blessings the blessing is so much deeper than what this car is this car is it's a blessing to like be here it's a blessing to it's a blessing to have this but like the blessing is just what God did with my faith through all of this what god did with me through all of this what god, where god took me and the blessing was not in my didn't start out in a tesla the blessing didn't start out in a whole lot of money or anything the, the blessing was rooted in my emptiness the blessing was rooted in my depression and in my child my mind like i'm just so grateful i can't even say i i, I don't even know what else to say but i just 
I just thank you, Lord. I thank you. I give you honor, glory, and praise. I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I pray right now for that single mom out there struggling. Lord, you see her. You know her tears. You know her heart. You know her situation. You know everything that she's given, Lord. You know she's tired, Lord. Lord, I ask that you constantly remind her of the goodness and the favor that is on her life. Lord, I ask that you remind her that you never have left her. You have never left, nor will you ever forsake her. Lord, I pray that you remind her that better days are coming Lord I pray that you remind her with the little things that you will supply every need you see every need you have her you have her children you have her mind you have her heart you have her home Lord bless her abundantly bless her internally Lord allow her to experience the true blessings of God and Lord let them come forward let them manifest in her life but Lord let them start in her heart let them begin to manifest let her feel the blessings begin to grow let her feel the blessings begin to flow out of her life Lord let her feel the blessings begin to flow on her children on Jesus generations after generations after generations lord encourage her to know that it starts with her you're not through with her lord you're not through with her lord you're not through with her her life is not over her she may have made some mistakes lord but every shame every guilt lord we rebuke it right now you died on the cross for our shame you died on the cross for our guilt you died on the cross for our sins lord let her know she is forgiven she is beautiful she is worthy she is worthy she is worthy she is worthy worthy okay baby you are worthy god got his best waiting for you i don't care what it is i don't know what it is for you but god got his best waiting for you just tap into it believe it that you are worthy and that you deserve everything god is our father lord god is our father he wants the best for us we are his children we are royal priesthood i just want to encourage you to believe that with all your heart and let god take you there let them take you there it may take you low it's gonna take you low it's gonna take you everywhere but let god do it let god take you there y'all be encouraged i'm gonna get off here let's go surprise the kids oh god is just too good keep god first y'all let's go surprise these kids and we're gonna get started with isaac's birthday god is so good thank you god thank you